So today we're at the K Fair in Dusseldorf. This is the largest polymers fair in Europe. It occurs once every three years and it's uh, an opportunity for the whole industry to meet, to exchange ideas, to look at new developments and to explore new business opportunities. INEOS is out in force at K-Show 2019, so we've got three major business units present. Styrolution have a fantastic stand to showcase some of their new products. We're especially proud to introduce our new Echo Grades of sustainable products, introducing a, a recyclable ABS that's really drawing a lot of key interest from our customers at the show today. And then Innovin this morning um, have had a fantastic press launch um, for Biovin, so for bioattributed PVC. Olefins and Polymers Europe is here hosting a sustainability day where we've invited our customers, brand owners, retailers to present some of our sustainable solutions. It's an opportunity for us to sort of give our messages really about what we're doing to contribute to the circular economy. So good morning everyone. Welcome to INEOS Olefins and Polymers Sustainability Day here at the K-Fair. We're certainly, say, putting our money where our mouth is. We are making some significant investments, not least of all Project One, which is our investment in a new cracker and a new PDH facility in Antwerp. It will enable us to make ethylene and propylene with a significantly lower carbon footprint than conventional production in Europe today. And uh, I want to talk about it in, in two sort of key topics, so carbon dioxide or greenhouse gas emissions and how we uh, address that challenge for our, our business and of course plastic waste. Our next session is with our technical team and they're going to talk about how you design products to make them more recyclable, how you design products that include recycled content. We are committed and support the transition to the new plastics economy because we have to recognize that today most of those plastics end up their life in the environment or in landfill. The message I would like to leave you with is that we have plenty of solutions from the shelf already existing or under development to switch from non-recyclable material to recyclable material. We have stadium seeds. This is a very interesting illustration of an application based on recycled polypropylene in injection molding. Our second launch today is bioattributed products. We are introducing biofeedstocks into our cracker into Cologne and through um, a tracked and certified process to deliver bioattributed uh, olefins and polymers. The idea is that we'll substitute some of this with renewable feedstock into our cracker system. It will pass through our polyolefin system as ethylene and produce polyethylene and then we'll track the benefits and attribute these benefits onto an end product. We provide you, our customers, with certification so you can be sure that um, your product that you're buying from us is sustainable. We're very, very pleased to um, be able to say that Cologne is fully certified. So our olefins and polyolefins out of Cologne, um, we are able to offer today. It's generated a lot of interest with customers and I think predominantly because of the measurable greenhouse gas saving that we are able to show. I was interested in, in your point about the commercials, you know, we're all up against virgin material versus, you know, uh, renewed or recycled material. And with these new plants and so forth you're building, do you think you'll get close to equal, if not better? What we need to enable this to happen is more waste plastic. Well, guess what? There's, there's, there's tons of waste plastic out there. There's two things. One is it's, let's say, the wrong waste plastic or it's in the wrong place. To unlock it, I think it's this collection and quality that goes in. That's going to be the key in my mind. Our partnership with Viradora is another exciting investment in a brand new waste recycling facility that will process 320,000 tonnes of waste material in the UK. And we have committed to offtake a significant proportion of the waste plastic from that plant in our new recycling hybrid polymers. INEOS is interested in delivering a low carbon circular economy. So the carbon footprint of our products has got huge scrutiny at the moment. We're really focusing on how we can reduce the greenhouse gas emissions and have a more positive impact on the environment. All our polymer products tend to be a similar composition. They've got lots of carbon in them. We want to try and incorporate that carbon once it's used back into our value chain, reuse it. We want to make sure we're not wasting any of it as we make our products. The circular economy is not a challenge, it's an opportunity. If we respond right, we can demonstrate to our customers that we are delivering solutions that help them in their challenge. 
Today's been a very exciting day for me because we are showing that we can make things with 50% recycled content that are of the same performance. We can make things that have bio attribution, so they are derived from a feedstock that comes from a bio source. And we're receiving very encouraging and excited response from our customers about the potential that those, uh, those recycling grades bring to them and their products.